Hi friends, welcome to this class and in this class I am going to continue the reactions of liquid ammonia. In last class we discussed the four reactions and this is the fifth reaction. The fifth reaction of liquid ammonia is nothing but redox reaction. Redox, you have come across it, this name. Redox stands for, RED stands for reduction and here OX stands for oxidation. Both oxidation as well as reduction taking place in the same reaction is nothing but redox reaction. There is one example for you, the redox reaction taking place in liquid ammonia that is when two molecules of sodium react with two molecules of ammonium chloride in liquid ammonia I am going to get two molecules of NaCl plus two molecules of ammonia plus H2. Isn't it? See, sodium, the oxidation state of sodium is zero here. Whereas oxidation of NaCl in that the oxidation of sodium is plus one. Here from 0 to plus 1 there is increase in oxidation number so it is oxidation and here the NH4 plus Cl minus it is having plus 1 oxidation state or with respect to hydrogen if I consider if I consider only one hydrogen it will be minus 1 oxidation state for hydrogen whereas in H2 the oxidation state of hydrogen is zero. Isn't it? Am I right or wrong? So we need to consider this NH4 plus. This NH4 plus means H has given lone pair of electron to nitrogen since it is more electron than two. So oxidation state of this H will be plus one here. Whereas the oxidation state of this hydrogen in H2 molecule is zero, which we know. So there is oxidation here from 0 to plus 1. In the same way, from plus 1 to 0, there is a reduction. So oxidation and reduction taking place in the same reaction is nothing but redox reaction. This is the fifth reaction. And the next, that is sixth reaction is precipitation reaction or metathetical reaction. Metathetical reaction is nothing but precipitation reaction in non aqueous solvents. So, my sixth reaction that is PPD, precipitation reaction. Let me write. You want it? See, in I have Na2SO4, I have considered this reaction plus barium chloride. It acts as salt in presence of H2O medium, non aqueous. Sorry, it is aqueous water medium. It forms BASO4 precipitate. BASO4 precipitate plus two molecules of sodium chloride NaCl. We know this, and this is taking place in water medium, and BASO4 was the precipitate. But in case of liquid ammonia, consider LiNO3, lithium nitrate, LiNO3, when reacted with ammonium chloride NH4. Cl in liquid ammonia and I have told you clearly that see here NH4Cl is not salt NH4Cl is acid in liquid ammonia whereas this NH4Cl was salt in H2O medium but here it is acid in liquid ammonia why because of NH4 plus it acts as acid in liquid ammonia so it is NH4 plus Cl minus Ammonium chloride is not salt here, it is acid in liquid ammonia, whereas it was salt in H2O medium. This thing you should remember. So, this when reacted with this in presence of liquid ammonia, what I got is lithium chloride, lithium chloride plus NH4, NH4, NO3, ammonium nitrate. And this lithium chloride is nothing but PPT in liquid ammonia. Whereas the same lithium chloride when dissolved in water, it is no PPT. It just acts as a salt and it gets dissolved like NaCl. No, there is no question of PPT in aqueous, uh, that is aqueous in H2 medium. But the same lithium chloride in this ammonia it is precipitate. 
see this is the different thing what happens in aqueous and non aqueous solvent and the next example let me consider ki plus the same compound ammonium chloride ammonium chloride is acid in liquid ammonia whereas it is salt in h2o medium since it is acting as acid what happens kcl kcl was just salt in h2o medium but the same kcl is precipitated in this ammonia medium followed by what happens and then for iodide ammonium iodide this is about precipitation reactions in liquid ammonia so one thing is clear this nh4cl is a salt in water but the same nh4 same nh4cl is acid in liquid ammonia these things you should remember what makes difference in nothing but this solvent how based on the solvent how these are going to act that things you should remember and this is about precipitation reaction the down symbol represents it is going to settle the gravity the gravitational force will act on those compounds and those are going to settle down so that is nothing but precipitation and next thing is about this uh, liquid ammonia is that is seventh seventh reaction is nothing but complex formation one of the complex i have explained in my previous class and in this class i am going to consider only one example see zinc nitrate zinc nitrate no3 toys when reacted with knh2 potassium amide in a liquid ammonia in a liquid ammonia what happens is zinc nh Two toys I'm going to be precipitated, and I'm going to get KNO3, potassium nitrate. And what happens if the same compound, zinc nitrate (NO3) toys, in excess of KNH2, and we know that this KNH2 acts as base in liquid ammonia because of NH2 minus, it is acting as base. If I consider the same base in excess, then I am going to get that is in presence of liquid ammonia. All reactions are in presence of liquid ammonia. If I consider it in excess, then I am going to form a compound K2, zinc, NH, ammonia, toys, four times. This is the complex. That is potassium. Now, tetra ammonia zincate two complex it forms because it forms two minus and here two plus so it is zincate two potassium tetra ammonia zincate two it is the complex reaction which the ammonia occurs in excess of K and H two and there is one more interesting reaction of this liquid ammonia that is the reaction of liquid ammonia with S block elements. S block elements consider uh, contains what they contains first group and second group alkali metals and alkaline earth metals. So reaction of liquid ammonia with S block elements like alkali and alkaline earth metals. How the liquid ammonia will react? Let me consider sodium and magnesium. Sodium comes under alkali metal and magnesium comes under alkaline earth metal. So in general, let me write as M. The metal when react with ammonia, what it does is C. This metal and we know that these S block elements. Like sodium, these are highly reactive. If you put that sodium in water, it catches fire, and also the energy will be released. Exothermic reaction. That is, the sodium will undergo oxidation. For zero oxidation state, it undergo to Na plus. 
oxidation and uh, so it acts as strong reducing agent and this what happens is nothing but this metals like uh, all these two metals forms m class and one electron will be released that is oxidation they act as good reducing agent and their oxidation potential will be very high and this electron this m plus ion is there no it react with ammonia how many moles i don't know uh, so we write it x mole how many moles like 4 moles 5 moles we don't know so we write it as x moles this ion react with x moles of ammonia to form m nh3 x plus this is the ion this is the complex which it forms and this electron this electron also react with y moles of ammonia to form uh, electron nh3 y times of minus this reaction occurs when the liquid ammonia is treated with metals metals like uh, metals of s block elements and because of this electron it will be blue in color and because of these electrons the solution conducts electricity so it is blue in color because of that electron and it conducts electricity because of that uh, electrons and those ions and it is good conductor of electricity blue in blue in color and it is paramagnetic the solution is paramagnetic in nature and this solution the solution which is formed now it acts as good reducing agent so the liquid ammonia when reacted with metals is blue means four parameters one is the solution becomes blue in color and it conducts electricity the para the solution becomes paramagnetic in nature and the solution act as good reducing agent these are the four parameters when metals reacted with liquid ammonia if we if you put these metals like sodium or magnesium in excess instead of blue color we get bronze color and also if we keep the solution for evaporating once for evaporating the ammonia will be evaporated and we get again the same metals so metals are going to react like that but we can get the metals in same way this is about reactions of liquid ammonia with uh, s block elements and this is electron so i it this class completes the reaction of liquid ammonia in next class we shall discuss about the reaction of liquid so2 that is sulfuric sulfur <laughs> h2 sulfur dioxide and let's stop this chapter thank you